This week, the Presidential Commission of Inquiry has revealed further shocking information at the highest level in the Bond Gate scandal. It was revealed that other parties joined in a pattern of transactions that took place between Perpetual Treasuries Limited and the Employees Provident Fund with Pan Asia Banking Corporation acting as an intermediary. The total volume of government securities sold to the EPF by former chairman of PABC Nimal Pereira and NP Capital using PABC as an intermediary in 15 transactions was 8.5 billion rupees. Richie Dias, the Deputy General Manager of Pan Asia Banking Corporation, believed market rates were rigged and manipulated. This is yet another revelation in the nearly six months of evidence being revealed by the witnesses. In the US, the Wells Fargo fraud scandal came under several investigations, including a Senate Banking Committee hearing led by Senator Elizabeth Warren. The Senator's robust questioning of the CEO, John Stumpf, left no room for doubt as to where responsibility lies. Since this massive years-long scam came to light, you have said repeatedly, quote, I am accountable. But what have you actually done to hold yourself accountable? Have you resigned as CEO or chairman of Wells Fargo? The board, I serve at Have the you resigned? No, I have not. All right. Have you returned one nickel of the millions of dollars that you were paid while this scam was going on? Well, first of all, this was by 1% of our people. I, and That's and, not my question. And, my question this is about responsibility. Have you returned one nickel of the millions of dollars that you were paid while this scam was going on? The, the board will take care have of that. Have you returned one nickel of the money you earned while this scam was going on? And, and the board will do I will take that as a no, then. You haven't fired a single senior executive. Instead, evidently, your definition of accountable is to push the blame to your low-level employees who don't have the money for a fancy PR firm to defend themselves. It's gutless leadership. The Bondgate scandal came to light in 2015. There have been two COPE investigations and absolutely no action was taken on those responsible. The Auditor General estimated that the spot losses from the two auctions alone was almost 2 billion rupees, with the losses incurred by the EPF in the secondary market still not calculated. Next week, the Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the massive scandal involving losses to the taxpayer continues into its 74th day.